Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Michael White from the University of Connecticut School of Pharmacy. And I'm here to talk to you about why I love my STEM career in pharmacy. So in Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, they talked about four things that help to give meaning to someone's life, to live, to love, to learn, and to leave a legacy. And I think that pharmacy actually helps you be able to do all of those things, helping people be able to live happier and healthier lives, be able to uh, love the patients that you are seeing and be able to help them through some of the specific issues that they're having, to learn about new complex diseases, about new drugs that are coming out, or new knowledge about diseases um, that are coming to light. It's a never-ending process of being able to continue to, uh, to learn. And then finally, to be able to, uh, to leave a legacy, which is something that I've been able to do both with the individual patients that we had, with some of the other uh, health professionals, and then through some of the publications and some of the presentations I have, being able to uh, hone in on that. So pharmacy is really at the intersection between biology, chemistry, and the human condition. So it is uh, the combination of both high-tech and high-touch. So what is it that I do and what do uh, clinical pharmacists do? Um, well, the pharmacist is the medication specialist assuring that patients get the right medication and they get the right dose of medication for their body size, for their kidney function, for their liver function, and for the stage of the disease that they have. That requires that you work with the patient so they understand how the drugs work, why they should take it, and then problem solve issues that they may have because drugs only work in patients who take those drugs and take it as they're being prescribed sometimes over the long term and then finally monitor those patient outcomes and safety parameters to assure the drug is being used effectively and safely even though the average person might be having this type of effect it doesn't mean that this specific patient is going to be having that type of effect in addition, I also research new treatments for different diseases, and you can go to pharmacypractice.ucon.edu slash hopes and look at the hopes research group for some specifics about some of the things that we try to do to be able to come up with new options for patients who don't have other options for their diseases or to be able to compare one therapy versus another to be able to find out whether or not one is more effective or more safe than other options that may be available. I also train students on how to be effective healthcare professionals. One of the things that uh, really makes my career um, be very special is being able to work with students and help to create the next generation of competent and caring healthcare professionals. And then finally, public outreach. So each week I do a TV segment on Fox 61 called Ask the Pharmacist usually on Tuesdays between 9 and 10. I've done things on Dr. Oz. I've done things for uh, other major newspapers and major media around the country to be able to take some of the important tenets of self-care, of wellness, and disease prevention, disease management, and help to give those to individual patients. So I hope you enjoyed my mini presentation on why I love my STEM career in pharmacy.